All right, so let's start this one by looking at answer choices C and E. Both of them have a similar shape. We can see that C has this slanted edge and E has this arced cutout. So if we look at our object, first of all, from our front back projection, that's just going to form a rectangle. So that doesn't match up with C or E. So we must be looking at that left right projection right here. Immediately, we can eliminate answer choice E because we can tell in the back of our object that's a slanted edge, which matches up here with C. It doesn't match up with this arc to cut out, so we can eliminate E right away. Look how this slanted edge continues all the way up to the top of the object. And it does continue up to the top of the object right here. But if you look at this top platform, you can see that this back part right here in light blue, when you're looking at it from that left-right projection, is going to overlap part of this slanted piece. So in answer choice C, part of that slanted piece will be overlapped by this rectangular piece behind it. So if we look at our actual left-right projection, you can see how this slanted edge doesn't continue all the way up to the very top of the object, so you can eliminate C. Now let's look at A, B, and D, and all of them are looking at our object from that top-down projection. I noticed in answer choice D that this curved piece right there highlighted in blue is much shorter than it is here in A and B. So if you look at this piece right here, you might immediately think that that matches up with D, but you have to continue looking at that slanted edge right there. That will just be a continuation. So let's just look at the straight edges of that blue piece. So that piece right there and this piece right here. You can see that both of those lengths are longer than these two lengths right here in answer choice D. You can see that that shorter maroon length is about half of that longer maroon length, whereas here in D, the shorter maroon length is only about a third, if not less, than that longer maroon length. So we know that this blue piece doesn't match up with this arced shape right here, so we can eliminate D. Now looking at answer choices A and B, Let's just first locate this part right here in pink, which we can find in A and B, and you can find it right here in our object in the front on the left side when looking at it from that top-down projection. We can also see that line there in blue and this line right here in green, and we can match it up right here in answer choices A and B. You can see that in A, that blue and green length are pretty similar, but in B, that blue length is much longer than that green length. So here in our object, that blue and green length are pretty similar, so immediately you know A is correct and B is incorrect. But another thing you can look at is compare that green length to this maroon length right next to it, and they're nearly the same right there in B, whereas here in A, that green length is much longer than the maroon length. And here in our object, that green length is longer than that maroon length. So A is correct. B doesn't have the correct proportion. The cutout should look something more like this. So we can eliminate B. And since we've eliminated all the others, A is correct.